I'm here at Descend on Bend. It's Saturday. It's maybe one o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm here with Kyle and Carly. Easy names to remember. We're just out meeting people. And uh, Carly's been to some van builds, and or at least one last year. And uh, we were talking about uh, her uh, visit to Cambodia coming up. And anyway, I want you to meet her, meet Kyle, and uh, check out the rigs. So here we go. Hey. What is up? <laughs> so, what's going on with living in a van? It just happened. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> I'm 24. 24. Been in the van since and, 22. And you wanted to, uh, like, what what, ha what was the thought process? You're 24 doing what? You're in college, you have a job at the, you're a barista. What's going on? I don't have any skill set, I guess. I just get odd jobs. So I've worked on the trail. I've been an aide. Um, I've been a bookkeeper, like QuickBooks, and just doing whatever. I can make a little money here and there and keep going on the road. I worked in North Dakota for a while and I, I've always just saved up money to travel and I wanted a more long-term travel. So I thought, ah, living in a van would be more of a long-term traveling adventure. So I saved up and went on the road. What made you decide to live in a van rather than like just get a car that gets really good mileage and stay in hostels and things like that? Uh, I saw a video about people living in a Westphalia and I knew I couldn't afford a Westphalia. So I saw this van two miles away from my house and it was perfect. So I bought it and it was in my price range. Okay, yeah. uh, where, where did you find it? North Dakota. I mean, so was it on Craigslist or yes, something Craigslist. like that? Craigslist was the best spot to look. Did you have some criteria that you were using such as how many miles it has or the 318 uh, small block V8 that they put in these Dodges? I mean. Those were cool to find out about once I knew what the van was. Um, I looked up the engine and I, I liked it. I wanted 4x4 four four and I didn't realize how scarce that is in vans. Okay. So high clearance was the next thing. And then it was also a perk that I could stand up inside. Um, and I liked that it was blue. <laughs> right on. <laughs> I mean. Would you guys mind standing closer together? Because I'm having a hard time getting the shot. Sure. So you, you were... Uh, just kind of living your life and you thought man I want to travel I think I'm gonna do it in a van you went on Craigslist did your did you have help from your family or yeah my dad helped me um, do the the buying of it because I didn't want to go do it by myself so and he also helped convert it with me so he was behind this for you yeah he helped negotiate the price he helped like finagle the deal because he's bought cars a lot so and mm. this was like my second time yeah. so you've got the support of your family behind you yes I definitely do they wonder when I'm gonna come back to normal life, but that's okay. What is normal life? I don't know, Babylon? <laughs> that's what I, do yeah. I learned a new term. Going to Babylon is normal life. Okay. Well, I just learned that myself then right now. <laughs> so you've got the van. I mean, I wanna see the van, but you can look in the van, you know, people have their stuff, and I'm sure that you did a great job and it's unique, but I'm more interested in the story behind it. Okay. So you, Decided to live the traveling lifestyle. Now you've got the van. You've been doing it a couple of years. How do you support yourself? If you don't mind me asking. The savings at first. So I had two jobs in North Dakota and I worked like 55 hours a week. Didn't have a life, didn't need a life. Um, and then I just, once I discovered that I was gonna do this, I packed away even more money than when I went out on the road the first six months. I tried to not pay for parking at night and I just kept a bunch of money in that way. Um, basically food and groceries. I mean, groceries and gas. Gas, those are the two things I would always buy. Um, then I got the job on the trail. I worked after RTR last year, I got the job working for the Conservation Corps. And that took up all of last summer. How'd that go? I hated it and then I liked it. But that you were able to store some cash up <laughs> yeah. to get back on the road. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned earlier something about Cambodia. What's in the works on that? I bought a plane ticket and I'm just going. <laughs> Why did you choose Cambodia rather than any of the, your other options? Uh, when I was looking to teach English in another country, it was between like Russia and Cambodia if you didn't have a degree, which I don't. So I picked 
Cambodia, it's a lot cheaper and easier to get to the other countries if I wanted to leave, easier to get visas. Um, and yeah, mostly the price tag of it was, it's like super cheap. My hostel is gonna be $7 a night. Are you gonna teach? I think I might try. What um, do you teach? Just English. Okay. Yeah, they need English teachers over there. Um, but if I don't teach English, I'll just treat it like a vacation and I'll come back in November. Okay. Yeah. It's a nice vacation. Shall we take a look at the rig? Sure. All right, let's have a look. What year is it? A 94. I noticed right off the bat that you have put flooring in. Yeah. Is cement okay to be in? Yeah. And you have a little uh, cooktop area. Mm-hmm. It's raised. You have one of those fiberglass toppers. Yep. You have a, a vent at the top. All right, walk us through. Okay, we got the bed. Storage under the bed. I've got like food in here and crafts. Okay. There's storage in the back. The bed doesn't go to the doors. There's a space there. And then all these spots up here, storage. Underneath here is my water. And then I keep my dishes here and my propane tank. Oh, you have a big tank? Yeah. I haven't been using it lately, but... What is that, a 40-pound tank? I have no idea. Yeah, but it works well when it's working. <laughs> okay. How yeah. often do you have to fill that? I've only filled it once. In how many Since days, I've months? Since I've been on the road. Okay. Which is, yeah, I haven't, it's not working and it might be because it needs to be filled up. I mean, mm, okay. yeah, so I've just been using the little green bottles right now because okay. I haven't made it somewhere to fill up the big protein, propane tank. What do you do for power? How do you get power? I have a little Yeti Goal Zero and then two solar panels that go with it. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a fridge, these coolers, I just do dry storage, eat my perishables quickly. Okay. And canned food. Working well for you? Yeah, I don't complain too much about it. I guess I'd like to upgrade at some point, but... Just... What are you going to do with your van when you go to Cambodia? Storing it at my parents. Okay. It's kind of like my apartment, so... <laughs> if people want to chronicle your trip to Cambodia and your travels, how would they find you? Curious Carly, and it's Carly, K-A-R-L-I. And that's, just type that into any browser, and you, that's your uh, Instagram? Instagram, and, YouTube, Facebook, okay. and then, yeah, you'll find me. Right on. Any last words? No, just have fun. <laughs> have fun. You're having fun, right? Yeah. We're having a good time. Here at Descend on Ben. Yes, we are. All right, well, thanks for uh, giving us a tour. Yeah, thank and you. And talking a little bit. See ya. Bye.